was um, I was part of the program of, of what the University of Brussels was doing, but I was still in high school. Right. And I was attending this program. Yep. And um, so we we had great trainings, like individual training, small group trainings. And that gave me the inspiration very, very early, not knowing that I would do it. Sure. But one thing, though, is that when I graduated from high school, then I told my uh, the principal, the, the school principal, that when I come back after my career, yeah, I will create an academy. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. Yes, 20, 20 years plus later than now we're about to do because we, we, we're going to open in Belgium as well, by the way. Nice. No, that's that's awesome. Have you have you talked to him though after about it? Like, well, I mean, I'm I'm sh- I'm sure he, he probably have seen me. I'm sure yeah. that there has been teacher that 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 have been uh, ch- uh, checking on me. But um, right. when, when the time comes, I will I will give him a heads up. That, that's for that's, sure. that, that's gonna be amazing. I'm sure it, I'm sure he's gonna be you know super proud of you and your accomplishments. And, and I mean, like as you said too, it's it's about like giving back, right? And sort of like you know contributing the, the lessons that you learn from like you know essentially going across the world you know playing mm-hmm. basketball being part of like these kind of like you know i guess academy and, and cultures of like development not only from like i guess like a technical aspect but also from a, a personal development which i think is you know extremely important and and i guess like something we will touch upon you know very soon in this this podcast too uh, but but your journey with the, with the Range Basketball Academy in Norway sort of like, you know, started back in 2011. And, and what, what sort of like was the need you discovered? And, and how are you essentially like, what was this need you discovered in Norway? And how are you sort of like impacting, I guess, like the, the basketball side of things here? From, from from your side when I, when I when i arrived in norway like it, uh, you know as you, as you probably know it, it, it was very cold that year it was minus yeah. 28 <laughs> and i and i was thinking that okay after after that contract i'm 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 going south because i'm not right. going to too Finland. cold <laughs> exactly but things kind of like moved on and uh, on, on, on a personal level and um, and then um, looking at my environment i felt that okay maybe there is room to to do something right uh, take initiative and do something rather than waiting for somebody to give you the opportunity to do so yep. while not creating it right and basically all the the the, the background that i i have received i, I mentioned belgium earlier yep. but i i started to coach in in the us when i was in college Right. And, um, you know, in, in, in youth development. So all that experience, I felt that, okay, well, why not try try something? So I invested my time and I invested my money. Right. And, and, uh, and um, I had a very positive response, like, immediately. It, nice. it, didn't, it didn't take time. It, it clicked immediately, and I was able to um, at least... Uh, at the first beginning, share my passion, my my my, my knowledge, yeah, and and very quick, I was also uh, I got some help from my friends internationally who came to help me out, and we built this program. That's that's awesome.